Just got in my order of new material from Blick Supplies. It's accompanied by Stephen K. from SKS Props. The order consists of some 10 millimeter foam high density, as well as some 6 millimeter high density foam. I also received some 10 millimeter EVA foam from Amazon. I ordered this because I wasn't sure when the Blick Supply was going to come in, and I wanted to get this project started. I just realized that the reference picture that I made for this project is asymmetrical. It's taken at a slight angle. I'm going to need both sides of the face to be exactly the same, so I have to make some alterations. So with a little computer magic, I chose the side that I liked best, I mirrored it, and then I attached the two sides together. When I got everything exactly the way I wanted it, I made two copies, poster size. One for a visual reference and the other so I can cut out the individual pieces to use as templates. I traced out the entire head on some 10mm EVA foam, then I added an inch around the entire perimeter so I'd have enough material for curvature. After cutting out the main body of the head, I went back to the template and started cutting out some of the individual pieces. After cutting out the eyes, I cut out the curvature of the brow so I could pull out the 10mm foam to add definition. I used the template to transfer that detail into the foam. I used a heat gun to soften up the EVA foam so I could start the curvature around the edges. To finalize that process, I cut darts all around the outside edge. Utilizing contact cement to seal the darts. At the same time, protruding the eyebrows and sealing that with contact cement as well. Because of the strain that the curvature puts on the darts, it's best to let the contact cement set up properly before you start this process. Using a heat gun will help speed up that drying process. I used a template to cut out the shape for the upper and lower mandibles. I thought I'd be able to free them up and then protrude them as I did the eyebrows, but later on I had to cut them out so I could put a piece in there to extend them further out. Otherwise, it would end up looking like a holiday jack-o'-lantern. I started removing other pieces from the template that would have to be put on separately. Because I'm figuring out this design as I go along, there are going to be a lot of adjustments along the way. I'm cutting out the upper mandibles, to put on separately so I can get that outward projection that I talked about earlier. Still utilizing 10 millimeter EVA foam. The upper mandibles have inner and outer fangs. I'm cutting them out separately. That'll add a little depth and definition to the project. I purchased this neat little rotary tool online. Loaded with attachments, super ergonomic. I mean, it's just beautiful. Only problem, it has absolutely no power. At first I thought it was a battery problem that it didn't charge it long enough. But after a 48 hour charge, I tried to use it again and it wouldn't even uh, grind through the uh, EVA foam. It just stopped in its tracks. Uh, just all beauty and no substance. So this will be going back. So it's back to my quarter Dremel until I can find a better solution. I mark and cut off the one piece mandible so that I can attach the two piece one that I created earlier. 
I overlap and attach them using contact cement. Keep in mind that I will be swapping out the EVA foam fangs for something a little more substantial later. I attach the upper inner fangs from the inside. Yes, I know, it looks a little rough and crude at the moment, but uh, I promise you it will be much better. I attach a couple of blocks of 6mm EVA foam under the top mandible to get more projection. After separating the lower mandibles from the template, I cut two pieces out of 10mm EVA foam. Giving the edges a initial sanding with my rotary tool. After freeing up the existing mandibles and bending them out, I decided I didn't need to use the two pieces that I just made. But later on in the project, I made another change. So I'm going to skip forward past some of this work that I did that wasn't really necessary. I cut a piece of 2mm EVA foam. I folded it up. I used my heat gun to try to hold the folds in place. Then I attached it from the rear to act as the inside of the mouth. Using a large sewing needle, I fished a channel up through the lower mandibles. I then inserted a ground wire from a piece of Romex. This way I could bend the mandibles into any form I'd like and it would stay in position. I used foam clay to smooth out all the transition between the pieces of EVA foam, as well as to create more definition around the eyebrow. I used a template for the top mandible to cut out some skin for it out of 2mm EVA foam. Attaching with contact cement and wrapping the edges around the side. Here's one of the on the spot changes I've made to this project. I came across some 1 inch styrofoam dowels and decide that it would be a better fit for the mandibles. So I cut away the EVA placeholders for the claws, cut, cut the dowel in half, and attach them both to the wired stumps on each side of the face. Using my bandsaw, I split the top section of the dowels in half so they would easily attach to the flat surfaces on each side of the mask. I attach the top section of the dowels with crazy glue. Then I use more pieces of Romex wire to stiffen up the bottom sections. After cutting long 1 inch sections of 2mm EVA foam, I utilize contact cement to wrap them around the dowels. I used 2mm EVA foam to create the first intersection of ligament between the jaws and mandible. As I've stated before, I really hate making teeth and claws. In this project, I used three different methods to make them. I fashioned the two largest teeth for the bottom mandibles out of hot glue. 
Then I wrapped them in two millimeter foam. I drilled out cavities inside the dowels and attached the teeth with hot glue. I cut off both the inner and outer foam teeth for the top mandibles. as well as the small foam teeth for the bottom jaw. After cutting out another bottom jaw out of 10 millimeter EVA foam without the teeth, I cut out channels in the jaw before attaching it to the project. For the small teeth that go into the bottom jaw, I'm utilizing some ice maker tubing filled with hot glue. I cut the pieces down to a desired length and sharpen the tips, and then hot glue them into place. For the outer upper teeth, I'm utilizing the same process I use for the lower mandibles. I'm forming the teeth out of hot glue, then wrapping them in 2 millimeter EVA foam. Secured with hot glue inside drilled out holes. I'm making the last set of teeth out of quick setting epoxy. Hopefully I'll be able to find some resin teeth and claws online, and this will be the last set of teeth I'll ever make. After the teeth are dried and hardened, I attach them with some hot glue. I'm happy with the progress of this build so far. This is the end of part one. I apply two coats of Plasti Dip and a light base coat. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and press the bell notification for the next part of this project.